Dating can be really fun and exciting and butterfly -y. and to some extent, just like with most things, it's what you make of it. But it can also kind of suck big time. Let's talk about that. Now before we get into the juice of today's video, let's thank our sponsor for today, Storyblocks. Now, while dating can be tricky, creating content shouldn't need to be, but as creators, we sometimes don't have the time or the budget or the resources to get the material that we want or need for a project. And this is why companies like Storyblocks exist. Storyblocks offers over 1 million high quality stock assets, all royalty free, including video footage, music, images, sound effects, text animations, and more. And it's super easy to use. So you just sign up and you search for whatever footage that you need. And voila, you will get tons of high quality footage to choose from. I like to use overlays and sound effects for my videos to help bring these stories to life. And you can use a link in my description box to check out the all access subscription plan, which gives you unlimited downloads of everything in their library, all under one affordable subscription. So thank you again so much to Storyblocks for sponsoring us today. I remember talking to this very old gentleman a couple years ago, and he said something along the lines of, I don't get you young people. Back in the day when you found someone who you cared for and who you got along with, you stayed with them for the rest of your lives. Why are you all making it so difficult. And he wasn't wrong. You know, once upon a time, it seems to have been rather straightforward. You know, you met someone from your hometown or university, and if it made sense to be with them for whatever reasons, you were, and you held on to them. The end. You know, something like that. So why is it so difficult now? And is it even? I do have my suspicions as to why, based on my experiences and the conversations that I've had and what I've read. Option overflow. So for better or for worse, the world is getting smaller. With the internet, you know, we're no longer geographically limited to where we are. You could technically date people from anywhere in the world, people who pre-internet area you would have likely never gotten in touch with. I can go on my phone and start chatting with singles from Argentina or Germany all in a few minutes. And now you might think, great, you know, more options means that I have a better shot at finding my person, right? Perhaps, but not exactly, at least not according to the psychologist Barry Swartz, who is the author of the book The Paradox of Choice. And he wrote, the existence of multiple alternatives makes it easy for us to imagine alternatives that don't exist. Alternatives that combine the attractive features of the ones that do exist. And to the extent that we engage our imaginations in this way, we will be even less satisfied with the alternative we end up choosing. So once again, a greater variety of choices actually makes us feel worse. So right then, is that the problem with modern dating? We have too many options. Well, I don't think that the options overflow is the main concern here, but rather the behaviors that it seems to induce. And I've thought of three things mainly. Disposability, or as I like to call it, the drive-through mentality, impatience, and finally, selfishness. So let's start with the first one. I think most people would agree that when we invest very little in something, we don't treat that thing with as much care. And on dating apps, you can swipe through, you know, hundreds of people in a matter of minutes. And I mean, can you imagine how much time and effort and energy it would take to meet a hundred people in real life? So picture this scenario. You are stuck on a ship with a hundred people. Would you really care to continue a conversation with someone who wasn't really meeting, you know, your needs up front? Would you push yourself and would you invest in compromise? Chances are you wouldn't because there would be plenty of options. So you could just, you know, move along and shoot your shot with someone else. And let's now instead say that you were stuck on this ship with only four people. Would you now feel more inclined to put in 
more effort into the conversation. You know, I know that I probably would because I would be lower on options. So I would probably care more to try and make it work. Now, swap out being stuck on a ship with modern dating and modern relationships. Are we not willing to put in the work anymore? Throwaway society mainly used to describe consumerism and the excessive usage of you know single use items and such but also sometimes used to describe the dating climate of our time i read a tweet a while back i don't remember it exactly i don't remember who it was by but it stuck in my head and it went something like it's until death does its part not until argument does its part and i thought it was quite funny not like funny funny but you know funny taking the easy way out of a dating scenario or a relationship seems to become increasingly common you know where something ends even though the obstacles that were faced were very much fixable but not willing to be fixed because why work through obstacles when there could be you know obstacle free options right now of course the whole option thing is pretty much an illusion you know we're swiping our way into confusion perhaps not realizing that no such thing as the perfect partnership exists but that that is something that's you know achieved together at least i think so so perhaps we should stop and ask ourselves more often if the results that we're seeking are matching the effort that we are putting in. You know, it's not very surprising that we lack patience um, considering the speed of things today. You know, we seek instant gratification, quick fixes and quick outcomes. But who can blame us? You know, I know that when I order food, I'm stuck wondering why it's taking so long when it's only been like 35 minutes. But in a time when things we need most things that we need can be delivered to our doorstep. We seem to overlook the fact that, you know, there's no quick way to meaningful human connection. No matter how technologically advanced society becomes. And finally, have we become too selfish, too self-absorbed, or just smarter? I can of course only speak from the perspective of someone who lives in a country like Sweden when I say this. So this sure is not the case everywhere in the world. Our priorities have changed over time. You know, many people are more focused on their career and self-development and life experiences or even just having fun. And since we are used to a lot of mental stimulation nowadays you know we easily become bored or frustrated and many of us are trying to escape the routine of everyday life we seek out novelty and if we seek out a partner we don't do it for the same reason that we used to and now to be clear i'm not saying that things used to be better back then you know i'm sure that some things were and some things weren't I mean, I know that in Sweden, back in the day, you could only be intimate with and have children with someone if you were married to or married to be with that person. And having children outside of marriage was a big no-no. And, you know, getting married was primarily a financial matter. And before 1915, getting a divorce was really really difficult so when we hear stories about you know how marriage used to last i think it's important to keep those things in mind that it wasn't necessarily because of unconditional love now things clearly look very different today you know sacrificing yourself for a relationship or staying with someone out of duty isn't seen as a virtue you know we don't need a partner and we don't need marriage now where does all of that leave us i don't know what do you think all right that was all for today's conversation thank you for showing up here today please share your thoughts on modern dating and 
relationships and uh, marriage and if you are a bit older what was it like before i would love to hear your story and i know that everyone else would as well don't forget to check out story blocks in the description box i have left a link there and as always i will see you in the comment section